The year was 2006, and Toronto became privy to what has since been called Mighty Cool, Wonderful, Adrenaline Dripping, a musty event. The Toronto After Dark Film Festival was born. The festival showcased the best sci-fi, horror, and fantasy films not yet seen by Toronto audiences. In 2007, the festival returned, bringing genre film fans more of what they desired most. And it continued, year after year, supplying genre film fans with some of the greatest Canadian and international horror, sci-fi, action, and cult movies available. But 2011 saw something different. Along with the standard films, audiences were also treated to the diaper rating. But where did this diaper rating come from? What did it mean? Many speculated, perhaps it was a rating of how shitty the movies were. Perhaps it was the opposite and just rated how good a movie was, man. We figure it's a combination of the two. The diaper rating indicated how many diapers you were going to fill with your own filth. That's right, how many times would you shit your pants due to the thrills, chills, and spills on screen? This is Toronto After Dark 2011. to welcome you to our sixth annual Toronto After Dark Film Festival. How many people have been coming here in six years? Make some noise. Five years. Four. Three. They were coming two years. And who is it that very first year? Awesome. We're really in for a treat. Um, I am really excited to welcome you here to our opening night gala. And Toronto and local, I should say, theatrical premiere of Monster Brawl. We're gonna talk more about that monster film in a few moments. Uh, but first, uh, let's talk about some of the uh, other amazing films that we have in our lineup this year. And I have to say, I'm quite pleased to say, we've had a number of press say that this is uh, considered one of the best lineups we've ever had, and we on the programming team are so excited. We also think it's gonna be one of our finest years ever. And I also like reading comments from the press, and today, one of the newspapers put this in. More. Toronto After Dark features more decapitations than any other film festival. If you like decapitations, make some noise. Yeah, that's gonna be my favorite quote from six years of uh, newspaper comments. More decapitations, it's pretty good. Uh, we also are the only film festival in the world that gives a discount for the undead. So if you're fan of zombies, make some noise. And what do you want if you're a zombie? Brains. I can't hear you. What do you want? Brains! We're going to have so much brains splattered on the screen behind me over the next eight nights. We have a record four feature films with zombies in them. Not only does Zombie Man appear in Monster Brawl as one of the combatants, we also have tomorrow night come back from the, uh, another terrific film made by the same filmmakers called Exit Humanity. <laughs> It's a zombie western. Fantastic. And we're also going to have a special guest star, Dee Wallace, in the house. So we're really excited for that. Um, coming up on Saturday, it is Zombie Appreciation Night. So if you're taking part in the zombie world, we're dressing up. We will be giving a discount for the undead right here. Um, and we have two terrific zombie films, Deadheads. And the filmmakers are coming for that. And War of the Dead, a world premiere of a Lithuanian World War II zombie film. So we're really excited for that as well. Uh, a couple other things I should mention. Any fans of stunning and very dark, apocalyptic, epic sci-fi? 
We've got some great sci-fi here, and people always ask us for something really dark and interesting. We've got our first Japanese anime, which is also a science fiction movie, called Red Line. Amazing, amazing thrill ride right here on Saturday. And then we also have, uh, this later this weekend, a film called Love. Now, I know you're thinking, what is a festival like Toronto After Dark that a film called Love in it? Well, this is a very cool, again, apocalyptic science fiction film. Have a look at the trailer, it will take your breath away, and we're gonna have, I'm just excited to say that the director has just told us he's coming here on Sunday, so you're going to see a very cool apocalyptic sci-fi spell um, with the soundtrack by Angels and Airwaves, stunning. Come back for that. And the last thing, highlight I want to mention, who likes spooky movies? <laughs> yes, we always get asked for that at this time of year. And we move back to Halloween. Who's happy that Trump Black is back in the Halloween season? New <laughs> actors. And we listen, here we are, one week for Halloween, and we have two spectacular films. We have, on Monday, the scariest film I've seen in a long time, the scariest film in our lineup, Absentia. Come here on Monday night to be freaked out of your skull uh, by a supernatural tale featuring two sisters and some very spooky stuff they find going on in a tunnel outside their house. So Absentia has been tearing it up on the festival circuit, won a ton of awards, and we've got the film here on Monday. And our closing night film is also very spooky and freaky, The Innkeepers by Ty West. Any fans of Ty West? Can you have to go? And have to a film. A Ty is coming here for that film. That will be here next Thursday. So one week tonight, we end in a spooky fashion. A couple of the very quick fun things I'm going to point out that's happening. It's our sixth year, and to celebrate, we've um, asked some notable filmmakers um, to say a couple of words to you in our pre-shows. So look out for uh, certain notable filmmakers. You might go, oh, I know that guy, uh, saying you a couple of words in, in our pre-show rules. And uh, another person we've asked to do something special. Was anyone here for our fifth year last year where we had a very cool bumper, um, you may remember it, called Five Years Young. That was made by a very twisted local filmmaker called Chris Nash. If anyone's heard of him, he's awesome. He's also got two shorts that were selected for our festival purely on merit. And he volunteered for our sixth year to make six little bumpers that you'll see scattered throughout our festival celebrating six years of Toronto After Dark. So I hope you enjoy uh, what Chris, the very twisted um, Chris Nash, has cooked up for you starting tonight. Okay, um, social events. Every night, as you may know, we have uh, social events. We have an after party after this screening at Nocturne on Queen Street, just a few minutes away. Um, and we also start tomorrow night pub after dark, so you can also uh, hang out with other fans. And one of the reasons you should really go out this year, we have a record number of filmmakers at the festival this year. Unbelievable. Normally we only have four or five feature films with Q&As and filmmakers. This year, the fifth sets of feature filmmakers are coming. Give it up. Some of them are in the audience here tonight. And a lot of them want to hang out with you afterwards and would like you to buy them a drink. So please <laughs> do come to the after parties, come to the socials, you can meet the filmmakers up close. It's one of the best things about Trump Dark. We're not very exclusive. You've got your ticket of the night, you've got your pass, and you can get into the after party. And it's a great way of meeting other fans. And this year, 15 feature filmmakers from around the world. We're really excited for, for that. Okay, another thing you do socially, if you're on Twitter, you can tweet about us, at Tad Film Fest. On um, Facebook, talk us up. Um, we have like buttons added to all the films, so you can like them on our website, torontoclub.com. And I'm going to thank um, my hardworking staff and a whole bunch of other people on closing night, but uh, you can thank them, give them a cheer now. Everyone who's worked at Toronto Club, big cheer. Now, volunteers. So, thanks for everyone Please give it up for a very special organization for our home. We couldn't do this festival. Give it up for Anchor Bay. We love you, Anchor Bay. Especially Susan Cullen. Wherever you are, take a bow in your seat. Couldn't do this festival without you. Space. Picture for the Space Channel. And for Rue Lord. And for our wonderful host this year, the Toronto Underground Cinema. We love you guys. Also our volunteers. Picture for them and clap. And, um, we're going to swap things around a little bit tonight. Um, we have a short film for you, as we always do at our festival. But we're not going to introduce the feature proper until after the short server, because we have a bunch of people from the feature film who would love to do a very special intro for you. So look out for that, and I'll be back. And I won't be talking very much. It'll be the filmmakers, promise, um, in about 10, 15 minutes after the short. Uh, in the meantime, if you could please turn off your cell phones, anything electronic. Um, that makes a, a noise or a beat, that would be great out of respect to the filmmakers. 
And uh, otherwise, cheer, enjoy uh, the films, make lots of noise, uh, keep it up when you uh, are watching these films. Tonight we have a great short film that's won a ton of awards on the circuit. Never played the Toronto After Dark before. It's The Legend of Beaver Dam. So enjoy the short, The Legend of Beaver Dam. And I'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we'll see you after dark. Enjoy. Toronto After Dark starts now. Cheers.